All right, what's up, guys? DJ Drox here. I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but I have a video for y'all today, um, and it's something which is new from Gemini. Gemini's coming out with a lot of new stuff lately, whether it be the MDJ 1000, or now this, uh, their preset, pre-event music or media organization software. Uh, they call it V Case. So far, the only version available to the public is um, version 1.0. 0.0 which is just version one but anyway I've, I've had it for a while now and I'm playing around with it and I saw that there wasn't really any uh, videos about it so I thought hey I will uh, make a video I'm gonna say right off the bat I am very disappointed um, this isn't at all like you know record box or anything like that um, but we'll go into the, the disappointments in it later. But let's just start out with the layout. So once you load your music in, and you do that by uh, going up here and adding your tracks, and there's there's already some reviews. But once you do that, you have just a couple of areas. So you have your Explorer tab, which is how you can find other music. So whether it's um, on here, which is really, in my opinion, kind of useless because no one really wants to have to go through all this stuff just to find music and then uh, your other area is this playlist box and this will show you the playlist and I've really have uh, only a few and that's just because uh, I haven't used it because I it's not really worth using for what I do um, then you have a search box up here, so if I want to search for a song, like, you know, something like that, I can search for it. Um, and then you have your main scroll area over here. And in this area, you have several headings. You have song number, cover art, title, artist, album, genre, BPM, key, duration, your personal rating that you set, and the date that you added. Now, so the main goal of this software, I believe, when it came out was that it was supposed to be like a like a like a record box for the NDJ 1000. If that makes sense. And I have to tell you, it's fallen way short. Um, first of all, it took me forever to figure out how to load all my songs. I th I literally thought for a while I was just gonna have to drag and drop everything and I was like mm -mm, nope if I'm gonna have to do that and I'm gonna just gonna delete it right now luckily I figured out how to you don't have to do that you just uh, go up here and I, I'm not exactly sure but you have to uh, go to here missing tracks I believe and you have to you have to search for it but after you after you put them on there there's, there's still a lot of disappointment in my opinion and f f mostly it's that once you do load them it doesn't analyze them. You you literally have to click on the song, hit analyze tr track for each one, and it takes a while for it to analyze it. So, so you and it does load it, and it is pretty accurate. Um, for instance, I know that the MDJ 1000 onboard track analyzer messes up BPM a lot, and for um. I know for this song, Secrets, uh, it got it right, actually. Uh, 128. It's actually even right on this uh, .01 right here. I've checked that, actually, on several other softwares. And it all of them show uh, .01. And this is right on here. And first of all, that kind of makes me a little bit angry. Because if they can get it right on this software, why can't they get it right on MDJ 1000? And if they can get this software to play MP4s, why can't they do it also on the MDJ 1000? Um, that doesn't make sense why they can't use the technology for this in, in uh, the MDJ 1000 and put it in an update. So moving on, um, so what you literally have to do is you literally have to select each one of these tracks and go through them. Now you can highlight them. Um, right now I'm holding a mic so I can't do that. But... 
you have to go through and analyze these individually. So far, uh, I know of no way to actually just go through and say, all right, analyze all these. But once you do analyze them, though, all the information is accurate. Um, unfortunately, though, it does not carry over ratings from iTunes or anything like that, and it doesn't carry genre, uh, playlists over. You have to individually make a playlist and load all the tracks from iTunes or wherever you store your software and put it in. But one thing is, though, is once you analyze a track and you run the software, it does it, it is smart enough to say, hey, this is the same track that's in this playlist. Uh, go ahead and transfer all this information so you don't have to analyze it multiple times. So, yeah. Uh, another thing about this which is kind of weird is it doesn't even have dates right it's saying that I added this on the 30th month of the year if they think there's a 30 month of the year they'd be crazy anyway that's my initial thoughts about it um in my upcoming review of the MDJ 1000, the in-depth review, not that short overview I did earlier, I will be um, playing songs uh, and I will analyze them using the software versus the other one. And I'll do a couple practice sets and I'll, uh, I won't be able to put those on YouTube just because of copyright. But I will tell y'all uh, if this software made a difference. Now, who's this software for? If you're playing on the MDJ 1000 and you have a set track list, this is definitely works. Um, but if you're a freestyle DJ or you're a mobile DJ and you don't know what you're going to play song by song, you know, you it's not it's not worth it because you have to you have to highlight all the tracks and individually highlight the tracks and analyze them, and that would just take too long. I mean. I haven't loaded my entire thing, but to go through and analyze 1,338 songs, mm -mm, that would just take too long. Another problem I have is that you can't put cue points in yet. Maybe this will all change. I don't know. This is the first version, like I said. You can't put cue points in. Uh, you can't put hot cues in. You can't um, make notes about the song. You can't. You can't do any of that. So if the only person, the only people I'd recommend this to is really people who have a set track list and they're just going to be playing that uh, set at their, at their gig. You know, one hour set, I'm going to be playing this song, then this song, this this song. That's the only people I recommend it to. And they'll still have to go through and manually put in the cue points actually on their uh, Gemini device. So yeah. All, all this really is is like an, an analyzing software. You can't really do anything else with it, really. It's If you're not that one type of person, which I specified earlier, don't even download it. Not this version. Maybe later once it gets better, but if it stays like this, don't even download it. It's a waste of space on your computer, and it's a waste of your time. All right, um... If something does come up and something changes, I will make another review of this. Um, and I'll include some more information when I get to this in the MDJ 1000 complete in-depth review series, which I will be starting actually today after I finish this video. But until then, see you next time. Practice, enjoy, like, and subscribe. DJ Drogs, over and out.